Tonight on Big Brother, Christina's life after Peter. Be strong, don't cry. And Johnny keeps a promise to Sarah Marie. Oh, oh that's a cool one. With six hours to go before someone is evicted, the three nominees are preparing to leave. Sarah Marie is convinced she will be the one to go. So pack it all your stuff and put it in the storeroom, in the diary room. <laughs> oh man, do I have to pack again? I'm sick of packing. Man, if I don't go this week... <laughs> pack, 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 pack. All right. Christina's equally sure it's her time to leave. Her mind's on what might happen after her forced separation from Peter. Can I write my number down somewhere so when you get out you can call me? Yeah, but aren't we getting a list of everyone's? Oh, that's true. That's what I thought, we're getting everyone's. No, you're right. I hope so. Well, you better get it just in case, hey? They might not send it out for a couple of weeks. Tiger. Oh. I'd imagine they give it to you straight away. Tiger, a bit do you of paper. hear what I said? What? They might not give it to you for a couple <laughs> She's of weeks. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yay. Should we come back to it later or do you want to play another one now? It's the fourth time Sarah Marie has been nominated. So to take her mind off things, Johnny makes her a promise. No time to waste today. In the last game of they have backgammon. I guess what? Maybe. Maybe not. Might be Probably. Mm -hmm. Baby cakes. I've only got five, five and, and a half hours. Sure. Yeah. No, it wasn't that way. No. Can I pass you? Yeah, <laughs> baby. Oh, excellent. Okay. <laughs> I hope I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> ben, if I'm still here tonight, um, Johnny said that he has to pash me. I'm going to pash Sarah Marie. Serious? Yeah. Oh, yes. How long? Oh, I've never kissed a gay guy. Five oh. second, five second pass. Jesus. Oh! oh. That's good. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Does it have to be the tongue? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I'm not really into full on tongue, you say. Oh, look at you. Go. Oh, nah. You're like my brother. Well, how's that? It'd be like, it'd be like kissing him. my brother, kissing, fully kissing you. It's time for the eviction to be announced. Okay, let's all take a deep breath. Let's get this over and done. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Uh, I'm excited. It's time to go, Peter. Whoa! Oh, <sighs> thought so. Good night, babe. Oh. oh my god! Now you've made five. See you, baby. Bye. Where's the music? All right, boys. See you, mate. You certainly will. I won't be far away. At last. See you training, partners. See you, mate. Oh, God. Yes, you're different. See you, Timothy. See you, Pete. See you, big bro. See you, mate. You can see me again soon. Sorry, oh, Jim. Oh, you certainly will. I've got all your phone numbers. In seconds, Peter's gone, leaving Christina on her own. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Can I have a week off? Oh man, I'm shaking. I'm so... <laughs> Five? Is that four? Oh, four. No. Five. I've become one of those techie reality TV girls. Five. 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 Five.
Right. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> there for me all the time. Right. We'll look after you. Will you be my new Siamese twin? I <laughs> bet. <laughs> we, we join at the hip now. We're just going to walk gonna, around like this. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, this is good. Yeah, I'm surprised Petey went, actually. Oh, oh, Jim, it's not waterproof. Oh, <laughs> no. I knew that was meant to be something I should have bought in here. Waterproof yeah. mascara. <laughs> It's all good. I'm just working on my Gwyneth Paltrow impersonation. This is yeah, a, you're doing a bloody good job. I think it's going well. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm pretty excited about it. I see big things for me. <laughs> Don't worry. Welcome home, honey. Yep. Next on Big Brother, Johnny's new passion for Sarah Marie. <laughs> I'll just clean this up and... Okay, there is no, no there is no hot water. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was hard for you last week too. No, but I mean, don't feel now that... Because Pete is not here that you... Oh, no, no. You know. Yeah, I know. You know if anything, it probably means that we'll get closer. Yeah. Because oh, there's okay. no stinky boys to get in the way. Bye, Petey. Okay. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this is a good little box. I know I like them. The boys to get to come. I'm getting sad now, but I'm getting relieved for who, me go or anyone goes. It's like, because some people are ready to go. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm sort of relieved that I didn't go, in a way. It's like, because... Well, we're not, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, invite me off, go shopping again next week. Try, boys, see what happens. <laughs> I'm still here. Hi. <laughs> 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 I'm still here! <laughs> <laughs> Australia obviously loves you. Mm. Okay, I'm sad, but... Relieved? What about my friends? It must be hard, actually, four weeks in a row. Oh, yeah. It would be. Thanks yeah. a lot, guys. You know, you can always have a week off to do myself up, sitting there making myself feel sick. You feel free to nominate her the week after, but yeah. give her a week off. <laughs> okay. Whatever happens, happens. Because I will still be here! <laughs> Well, I'll make the Chrissy, but a toast to another week for the rest of us. Everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Toast to Pete. And to Pete. Cheers. Yeah. And, and to a toast to bloody well Sarah to Marie. Pete and to the people we still have. Toast to Sarah Marie as well, yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> toast to the nation. Good. Toast, toast, toast to being liked by audience, but not by members in this house. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got another week of our men's today. Huh? We've got another week of our men. Yeah, you've got another week of our <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is it again. From down from twelve, we're down to two, four, six, seven. seven. We're not playing back. Thirteen, anymore. mate. Johnny. Thirteen. Thirteen. 13. From the from the original twelve, we're halfway. Mm -hmm. We're down to six of the original twelve, which is six, six, bizarre. Seven. I never thought we'd get that. Couldn't even couldn't even I picture that. Another week with you, lot. Didn't I? This is, this is Sarah Marie's <laughs> welcome back. Pash. 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 Snog. <laughs> oh, five seconds. You guys are going to count. Okay, you're counting? <laughs> oh, no. It's so contrived. You asked for it. So contrived. You asked for it. One, oh. two. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Count to three, okay? I'm embarrassed. Oh, yeah. Embarrassment. Team Brian. It's just not uh, when you start. <laughs> Holding your nose. Tag it on, tag it on. Let me start. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool. <laughs> oh. Yes. We had a bash. <laughs> Ben nominated Peter for two points. Once again, he has something he needs to tell Big Brother now the eviction is over. Look, I have voted for Peter and I've voted for him a couple of times, but 
yeah, there's a lot of things which I had in common with him. But there was a few things that I didn't overly like compared to some other people. So it's, I think it, this week feels a bit different purely because you had, I had like stuff in common with him more than I would someone else. But I also had stuff that I just didn't like, just how we'd act with certain things or whatever. So it's a funny feeling when you've um, voted for someone and they leave. You sort of, yeah, you make, yeah, it's a funny feeling. Not a, you can't really regret it, of course. But, you know, you sort of contributed to it a bit and, yeah, makes you think a little bit. Oh, don't go to bed yet. After witnessing the emotions of the housemates, <laughs> Anita can't help <laughs> but offer comfort. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna it's let quite emotionally draining, this whole thing. Oh, it's Sundays and Tuesdays, Yuki. Okay. <sighs> I'll give you hugs whenever you want, because I need them just as much. Next on Big Brother, Peter's parting words. Got no regrets at all about anything that we did or that I've done and said in the house. Cheers, guys. Tonight's eviction is followed by a surprise. On the weekend, Big Brother asked each of the three nominees to record a video message to be shown to their fellow housemates should they be voted out. Peter's message is played in. Come on now. Hello. Actually, no. Goodbye. Um, if you're watching this, then I am dead. No, not really. But I'm out of the house. I'm out into the big bad world um, where some of you want to be, but I'm on my way already. Thanks for the last seven weeks. It's been an experience, that's for sure. Don't feel sad that I've gone. I know sometimes when some people have gone, people have got upset. Don't feel sad. Got no regrets at all about anything that we did or that I've done and said in the house to any of you guys. So if anyone's got any grudges, I haven't, so um, let me know. While we're on that set, I've got a job for you. You've got to look after Chrissy for me. Keep her happy, keep her smiling, keep her laughing. And Chrissy, you've got to stay in the house as long as you can. I'd like to thank Johnny um, for pushing me and making me, um, motivate me just to run around and do things. That's helped take my mind off a lot of things. Um, helped break the monotony and just killed a lot of time. Motivated me a bit. So that helped a lot and was always positive and pushing me and making me feel better about myself by sort of saying well done this and well done on that, so that was really good of him. Chrissy had some fun. Um, you don't want to go, but um, I don't know. Don't know. You really <laughs> don't tell me too much about that. Um, but stay in. I know you want to stay in, so be strong and you'll get there. Don't be disillusioned by um, being nominated, being the third time, and next time will be your fourth time. Don't worry about that. Just take an example from Seth. Water off a duck's back. Don't let it get to you. Don't let things get you down. Again, in the big scale of things, being nominated or having a bad day is not going to change the world that you live in too much. So be strong. Don't cry. <laughs> You're just upsetting your mother. <laughs> um, and I'll see you definitely when we get out. Um, yeah. At Arthur's, if not before. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Yes. Yay. See, it's nothing to worry about. Oh, <laughs> that, that was so beautiful. Much. How nice of you to do that. Oh. So did you each do one? Yep. Yep. Oh. Are they going to get us all to do that from now on? I don't know. He was so dodgy, Pete, wasn't he? <laughs> He's a dodgy p I love it. Oh, yeah. So many times. It was a reality check. Huge. Well, if anybody wanted to make the nomination process harder, it's just done it. Because it makes you realise, you know, how much you actually really do feel for everybody. Peter's parting words of support and encouragement leave the group in a reflective mood. There's a strong feeling of loss in the house, 
but also a heightened sense of family for those left behind. Coming up on Big Brother, Johnny's missing Peter. I didn't even think Chrissy cried this much. Like, this is not right. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay, I've got one day to relax until Tuesday night. Beautiful. Sarah Marie retrieves her bags to unpack them for the fourth time. She and Christina have two days respite before another round of nominations is called for. <laughs> Johnny wants to be alone and needs to talk. He was a good guy. Oh, I hate the fact that I get so goddamn emotional in this place. Like, I'm sure that the audience looks at me and goes, what is that guy crying for? Like, this guy, he's going to see this guy in another five weeks. And yeah, this is probably not the best time to have done this, actually. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I, oh, f <clears throat> Well, you're not going anywhere in a hurry, and neither my, a, am I, so I guess you can just wait a few minutes till I get my act together. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Uh, as I was saying, it, it just gets surprising. I surprise myself. I'm not usually like, and I'm not justifying my emotions or anything like that. I'm not normally this blubbering mess who cries every time someone leaves. But what this place does to you is it definitely makes you a little bit more sensitive to your emotions. When you lose someone like Pete, who I would call a friend of mine while I was in this house, um, it means I've got one less person. Ah, I'm not going to cry because I'm not like, okay. When I lose someone like Pete in this house, it means I've got one less friend to rely on, even though I have um, six other people to still rely on. So am I going a bit crazy? Uh, yeah, maybe I am going a little bit crazy, but maybe going a little bit crazy is what it's going to take to survive the next few weeks in this place. Oh, I just want to compose myself before I go back out there, actually. <clears throat> God, I didn't even think Chrissy cried this much. Like, this is not right. <laughs> What's the oven doing on? No idea. Well, in Australia doesn't mind you too much. Australia loves your guts. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you later, Nita. Good night, darling. Good night. Good night. Good night. No, I was just, I was making a joke before to Anita. It was probably my dad calling up. Mm. <laughs> Who's that boy getting into her bed? <laughs> Get him out! Get him out! He's got to go! <laughs> Will they be relieved? Oh, no. They're no? Not, they're pretty open-minded for so they, like they'd 60 be year old unhappy? Hey? They'd be unhappy or happy, or neither? I've no idea. I have no idea what my parents are thinking. They constantly surprise me. <laughs> but no matter what I do, they always just say to me, as long as you're happy. Mm. That's, that's all that matters. That's fantastic. Good. That's what you need. It's like, I'm, you know, gone ballerina into waitressing, and they go, as long as you're happy, darling. <laughs> that's fantastic. 20 years working on the same thing, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, so they're, they're, always, they're always great. But I know when I stop my whole ballet thing they were pretty worried because it's all they ever knew of me and all that I'd ever done yeah. and all I really knew how to do and they were like okay <laughs> my dad's got this office and I'd sit upstairs and watch TV during my holidays and he'd be downstairs working because he had his little flat above the office and he'd be like I'd hear people come into the office and there'd be photos of me and I'd be dancing whatever and he'd say, oh, this is my daughter, you know, she's in the Monte Carlo Ballet mm -hmm. and she's done this and she's done that. And so when all that was over, 
I'd hear people come into the office and they'd be like, who's that girl? Oh, this is my daughter. And I'd wait for the, what the hell is she doing now? Because I'd either be unemployed or waitressing or something like that. And you'd be going, I'm between jobs. She's finding direction at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> she's very happy. Mm. <laughs> I'm very happy finding direction. Like finding direction. I love that. Which is just like a really positive way of saying she's completely lost and she has no idea what she's doing. <laughs> But we have complete faith in her that she's before finding long she direction. Will. Yeah, <laughs> she's running around going, "What the hell am I going to do?" Totally. <laughs> but I loved it. I'd love listening to him talking me up, no matter what the hell I was doing. Yeah, he'd just be so proud. It's good, Dad. That's fantastic. You're very lucky. The housemates were given a Polaroid camera for one of their tasks. Christina souvenirs one of the pictures taken of Peter. I, sh I really love that one. Yeah, that's nice. That's really cute. And it's got me in it. It's got you in it. We were briefed about it once. That was about microphones. We won't be able to. Peter stole my towel. That's my towel. After Peter's eviction, the house appears to be unifying and old differences are being put aside. I'm glad you're here for another week. I can't believe I'm here. I'm glad you're here. I think you're fun. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I'm your entertainment, I Melissa mean, Bryant. Yeah, it's great. I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I know where you're at now, actually. I really do. <laughs> It just I, yeah, it took me a week to get there, but... Yeah, it took me a little bit longer. <laughs> it took me a little bit longer, but I pretty much know where you're at. It only took me a week to get there. <laughs> mm. I'll cover one more bit of a chalky. Yeah, absolutely. Here you go. Have that. Shopping's tomorrow, so that's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take Pete's pillow. All yours. Gemma's moving her oh, bed there. Oh, And I'm I moving it there. It's my new teddy bear. All right, I'm going to go and take some chocolate outside. And you and I are back on for backgammon tomorrow. We'll bring it in here and we'll play a game now. Now? Yes, please. Peter has asked Sarah Marie to look after Christina. It looks like the two nominees are forging a new friendship too. How are you, baby? Come give me cuddles. Okay. Turn my light on. Love you, baby. Me too. You're a beautiful, beautiful person. Yeah. For me, it's not. It's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Tomorrow on Big Brother, it's on again. A new round of nominations. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.